You're with us here for WVLT News at 6 o'clock. I'm Ted Hall. And I'm Casey Wheelis. One week from tonight, West Ben's Antoine was set to officially become a Knoxville police officer. Antoine died yesterday after collapsing during a run Friday. The department is still making sure Antoine is called officer. Both the Knoxville Police Department and the Knox County Sheriff's Office escorting his body from UT Medical Center to Minot Funeral Home in Powell today. You're invited to pay tribute to the officer at the Public Safety Complex where a KPD cruiser is parked out front. Police Chief Paul Noel says Antoine collapsed while he was running a mile and a half during a routine training exercise Friday. He was given CPR before being taken to UT Medical Center. He later died Sunday morning, surrounded by family and friends. Our Lexi Lepoff joining us from that public safety complex where the police department is. Lexi, you met with somebody who played a big role in a special honor for Antoine right before he died. Yeah, Ted, Casey, when they realized on Friday night that Antoine's condition was serious and getting worse, they wanted to join together for one last special honor for him. That's when they called City Judge Tyler Ken Cavanis, excuse me, to come in and swear him in to be a police officer right from the hospital. It's a night that they'll say they'll never forget. No one woke up Friday morning thinking that that's possibly, you know, what they'd be doing. A late night and a swift effort to honor Knoxville police recruit Wisbens Antoine. And I had just gotten into bed, actually hadn't even turned the lights off and, and saw that Chief Noel was calling me and you know, that's that's unusual. City Judge Tyler Cavanis, Mayor India Kincannon, KPD leaders in Antoine's entire recruit class joining together in his hospital room. And we all decided there was no better way to honor his service and his sacrifice to our department and our community than to make him a police officer in the hospital. Antoine unable to respond, so his classmate and close friend, recruit Tristan Simpson, took the oath on his behalf. The bravery that, that especially uh, recruit Simpson had to do that and to do that for his friend um, was that was it was hard to witness, but it was special to be a part of. Just a week out from his academy graduation, honored with a badge symbolizing his transition from recruit to officer. This is the badge that was placed on his chest. And this is the badge that will go with him to his final resting place. A moment of unity in a time of tragedy. Just really, really difficult to think about, you know, that's not, that's not how that should have been. You know, that's not how that should have happened. Now, Judge Cavanis told me that he didn't know Antoine personally, but just to give you an idea of the kind of person he was, he said a lot of his staff interacted with him regularly, and they all talked about how he was full of energy and a really funny and fun person to be around. So it's a really tragic loss for the Knoxville Police Department and the entire city. Lexi, thank you.